So like, how, where do you feel like you're at? Like right now, you said you, you're, everything was going great. A couple of weeks before you started to feel a downturn. Like, where do you feel like you're at now with your healing process? Right now I'm good. Um, so when I started going downhill, like a couple of weeks ago, like I said, it wasn't a severe, um, did my IVIG, the immunoglobulin, and I'm back coasting, uh, normal now good. feeling pretty good. I'm still keeping up with you guys here. Um, cause I think that was, uh, my main factor mm -hmm. uh and hopefully the more i come over the years maybe this thing will go away just like it came well, yeah, i'll always i'll always kick it in the butt <laughs> you don't have to keep coming back yeah. uh, every year so yeah. well what, what are you doing for treatment this time when you're down here iv or this time i'm doing 180 million uh through iv iv that's yeah good. That's last good. time i did 150 million um same with uh, the other protocols that you guys are implementing mm -hmm. um all the other IVs you guys are giving me, the hyperbaric chamber and then uh, the enema. They check your immune markers and stuff first time, second time they're here? He said that the markers seem better th this time than it was last time. That's good. Um, there's like some improvements. So he was like, oh, wow, like that's a, that's a, that's a good improvement from last time. It's another thing is hard to test combination therapies in America. They want to yeah. find the one silver bullet. Yeah. One patentable silver bullet. It was all this, you know. Yeah. When in a lot of cases, it takes multiple things. Yeah. It's uh, I see it with with low back people. You know. You know, guys that are probably like your buddies, just you guys, probably in good shape. You know, and, but people come down, they have low back issues, and I get it. I had low back issues. I put on a lot of weight after my my surgery. I put on like thirty five pounds because I went from training at least twice a day, maybe three times a day, <laughs> seven days That's a week. A lot, yeah. You know, like to laying on my back for eight months and my mom coming and feeding me terrible southern fried chicken mashed potatoes <laughs> okra black eyed peas it sounds know. good it's delicious <laughs> but i'm like mom i can't eat like this i'm getting so fat and and that was actually one of the things you know afterwards i was like hey how am i going to get this weight off you know and that's something that uh with some of our patients that are overweight you know i tell them i say listen once your knees get better once your back gets better you 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 need to lose this weight. You need to work on your overall body health. Like just because your knees are feeling better and the stem cells worked, you know, and you and you don't have this pain doesn't mean just stay on the couch. Mm -hmm. That extra weight's going to make a difference. You're not going to. That's not going to prolong your back feeling better, your knees feeling better. You know, half your body weights push it on your S1 L5. Well, if you could get twenty pounds off of that. That's a lot less pressure yep. on your disc. And uh, some people listen. <laughs> some some, yeah. they, some want it. Other people, just Americans, they just want the shot and think it yeah. should be better in a couple of days. Yeah. Tissue don't grow in a couple of days. Now. Buddy. <laughs>